Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Okay, so I've got some leftover paints. I'm using five colours today. I'm using a black, a red, an orange, a white and a gold. And I'm going to use various tools to create a piece. But first of all, I'm going to layer some paints on my canvas. I'm going to swipe using some toilet paper. I'm going to be doing some balloon dips as well just to create a different kind of vibe and to create different designs and patterns on the top of this canvas just to illustrate that you can use different tools to create very different effects so i'm going to layer some of the paints now on the canvas and i'll be back shortly I'm just taking each of my colours one by one. But when you do something like this, I would say bear in mind which direction you're going to swipe in. So for me, I'm literally going to swipe off centre from the middle to the edge. So again, from the middle to the edge. And I say about bear in mind what way you want to swipe because that will help you identify and decide what colours to place where. Because when you swipe, you are pulling colour over colour over colour. And it's those colours that will be dominant. And it's those colours that will also remain underneath of the main colour that you've swiped over the top that will help pop. And when you do your balloon dip, that's the, going to be the colour that's going to be revealed. So also think about which direction you're going to swipe and what colours you want to be prominent. So for me, I really want the gold and the black to be those prominent colours. And then I really want the orange and the red, along with the white, to be those colours that pop out. So you'll see that I've just added a little bit more white paint, but to that white paint is some Australian Floetrol just to help with some cells. I'm now gonna take my toilet paper. I'm literally placing the toilet paper on top of the surface of the paint, and I'm just dragging it down. I'm doing it slowly. I'm in no rush to do this but you'll see that the gold is taking prominence in that area that I'm swiping. The white paint will disperse and hopefully you'll see some cells and some lacing being created. I'll take you in for a closer look as we go along. I'm using a standard three ply toilet paper. It's dry, so I'm not adding any water to the paper. It's, it's not gonna be damp. It's literally dry paper that touches the paint on the canvas and is dragged from one side to the other. I'm literally just placing the toilet paper on top of the paint, letting the paint soak into the paper and slowly drag the paint from the middle to the edge, allowing it to glide over the top of the other colours.
So I think I'm there with my base colours. I'm going to take you in for close up now before I do any of the balloon dips. And you can see how the cell activator has reacted with the paint. I've got all that lacing across the gold. It's almost like a sand, sandy shore effect. And then the other half of the canvas is where I've swiped with the black. You can see a lot of the white now, but that will disperse. And it's almost like I'm, I'm going to try and create almost like fireworks on the sands. I really want to have quite an elegant look to this piece. So I'm using my balloon and I'm literally dipping my balloon into the paint to create a different effect. And as I dip the balloon in, I'm not applying too much pressure. I'm literally placing the balloon on top of the canvas where all the paint is and just gently pressing down and then releasing the balloon. And you can see the kind of effect that has. And what I'll do is I won't do too many of these, but I'll do just enough to create a different kind of pattern and design on top that differs from the pattern that we've created doing the swipe. So, balloon down on the canvas and just lightly dip and release. You'll see some of the paint on the balloon. You can either put that paint in another area of the design or just wipe it clean on a paper towel. I want to dip some of the darker colours into the gold and some of the gold into the darker colour. That's just to ensure that I have a really good composition. I'm looking for a good flow to the colours. So I'm going to, going to continue to dip now and then I'll take you in for a closer look at the detail we've been able to create by swiping and balloon dipping. I'm actually really enjoying working with this colour palette and I feel that I've got a good balance of the colour mixed with just the block of colour of gold on one side. So as I finish my balloon dips, I'm going to take you in for a closer look now just to show you some of that detail. So the lacing has been created using the cell activator and swiping down onto the paint using just a dry piece of toilet paper or a paper towel. And then some of the other details that you can see have been created by using the balloon to do a balloon dip. I just love all the details and contrast that you can create by just using some simple tools that you have at home. And I'd really love to know what you think about the colour combination and the overall creation itself. So for me, I get the vibe that I'm standing on the sands at night watching the fireworks explode into the sky. So let me know what you think. What can you see in this piece? I'd love to know your thoughts. I'd love to know what you get from this piece yourself. And also let me know if you're going to try it yourself. But thanks again for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video. I'll leave you with some more details and I hope to see you again very soon. Take care everyone. Have a great week. Bye.